My very first question is, amidst all this negative news, why launch now? Yeah, um, so I think it, it's a great timing because uh, pricings are just quite, quite fair. So we can get a similar um, similar stocks for a cheaper and for, for a low, lower price. Yeah, sense of the bottom has been showing up. Okay, so, I, I'll uh, just say, so let's let, let's talk about then the two ETFs then. And I, I, well, let's start things off with one, just to be more specific. Let's start with the blockchain ETF. What what exactly are the underlying assets here? In other words, what are investors buying if they buy this? Right now, we are having like like the Coinbase, uh, Silvergate, the Mara Riot. Uh, so we are having like the the fin financial services and and for, for the banking services. Mining and the chips. Yeah. So, what would you say, Junfei, would be the sort of value of investing in something like this? Because, mm. of course, there has been a lot of uh, question marks, say, around something like grayscale investments that has their Bitcoin fund that yeah. is underperforming the net asset value. Why would you invest in something like these ETFs? Um, right now, we are thinking it's the bottom of the market. Um, so, and we are coming towards the end, end of, of, of the bear era. So, um, so. In the, in the next coming of the mouse, and we are going to switch from the bear to, to the bull. Yeah. Okay, then. Help us understand, then, uh, on that note, what the risk profile is right now uh, on this, right? Because it, it used to be it was sold as something that was kind of cyclical, um, n n not very correlated to, uh, to assets. We know that's not true right now. So what is, what is the value offering of either of these two ETFs right now, given everything that's happened? Right now, we are offering um, for for like like the clients for a lower entry on um, in into the space, so they didn't really have to have like an account on on like the wallet. Um, so they they can just they place the the orders on the um yeah. So so we offer like the mm. lower entry for the clients. So what what sort of returns are you targeting here, Junfei? Mm. Sorry. What um, sort of returns are you targeting for the ETFs? Right now, we are we are thinking in the next twenty years. Um, so we are as estimating for like maybe ten to twelve ish. Okay. Now I want to ask specifically about the the innovation e ETFs, and, and I'm, it, well, basically what you're saying is this will not track any related index. So my my question to you as the fund manager. What what would what would you use as the benchmark of your performance? In other words, how how would you know whether you're outperforming or underperforming, whatever that benchmark is, Junfei? Um, there's no tracker yet, um, but we are thinking the S and P 